Okay, there are some things I want to talk about that have uh, pretty much made me rather sus I mean, that people are sort of, certain people are very suspicious of things that are, all around me are suspicious. And I have good reason. I don't know how much I'll get out of that reason, but um, I'll start with this. I've, I've been making some videos here and there. Most of them are on private, uh, on, a, on different channels on private. And, uh, and basically it's about my health and this new doctor. I had trouble. Uh, my original doctor quit back in 2020 and his nurse practitioner. I, I never really liked them much. They, they always add zingers at the end of the, you know, the appointment. Some kind of zinger. Both of them would. Separate now. I would see them. And so 2020 happened, you know, most of it from that point for a couple of years was over the phone and the services that I'd found. I'd used both of them before and all this. One of them was actually the nurses, other nurse practitioners at that that had been there and then they went full t more full time or something. New doctor, all that. Well, it came down to that. So much, so much, so much passed. Um, okay, that video didn't work right, so I'll put it on a different channel. Um, but basically, it's, I don't trust this new doctor of mine. Cause I've had it for a couple months. This is j middle of June uh, 2023. And for the past two and a half months or so, with this new doctor, I just don't trust him. He did something that um, I would call a HIPAA violation, a, you know, H-I-P-A-A -A violation, and to send my records to another place. But I think this guy is planning on everything that is warming up to. Uh, I'm very suspicious, very, very suspicious. He was originally Adam's doctor. And uh, he said something, Adam said something to me one day like, you know, I said, I don't want to see that doctor anymore. I don't like the way he talks to me. He, he basically is very sexist, tells me how, how um, much I can speak and, to, you know, how long I can speak. I had, had basically hadn't even finished a sentence. And he's very rude, says that I get distracted. I said, no, I don't get distracted. I get I get interrupted, and that's when I finally told him off, just, just last week. And uh, I think he's, I think, I'm, I'm, fri I'm frightened. I'm afraid of this man. I don't want him having any, any, any involved with me, with me at all. No, at all. I, told, I already told Adam that I fired this guy. I, the, 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 they were closed that day, and I don't want him having anything to do with me. It was just weird that Adam had said that uh, when I told him before this that I don't want to have anything to do with this. I don't want to return to this doctor. I don't like it. He said, "He said, oh, it took so much to set up. Don't do that." And I'm like, "Set up?" It just sounded so weird. He had set something up what for me just to see the doctor. There was no setup. I just went with him. I <laughs> mean, we made an appointment for the same time together, and it's been that way. Okay, except the one time I had to go before the first time, set of three times recently, since last month, May, that I had to go to the ER. I saw him, the day, that doctor, the day before by myself. It's just, just too creepy, seriously. I'm going to do a longer video for, an, video for another channel, though. <laughs> okay, I decided to add a more to this because I can't um, add a new video to that, to that main channel because I just did this morning. The AI doesn't like me doing more than one in a day. And I said all this and then some, and then my set screen just suddenly went back to normal. I said, shoot, I probably did push the wrong button. <laughs> and I did, apparently. That whole one was gone. Okay, and as you could hear, my voice was going out in that, this past clip. But anyway, uh, I'll say, I'm going to say a little more. Um, I have a lot to say, especially since this, you know, things like this guy... This doctor, you know, the whole suspicious way. What is, why is Adam saying that? Really? It just came in the creepy, I mean, I've known this man for over 40 years. Why would he say set up? What was he thinking? And then he doesn't see this guy as I have, you know, and 
he gets upset because he calls this guy his friend 15, 20 years. And he, he's even said, oh, I had, I regret that I told you about him. Um, because I had, you know, it was such a good thing to have somebody like that, somebody I could talk to. Or he didn't even say somebody I talked to, he just said somebody like that. You know, that, <laughs> tell me, I don't know what all that means. This is doctor, and I think that's a very bad, strange attachment. When I first met this doctor the first time, he, he, when our appointment was together the first time, he said that Adam's people are a very sneaky, what the, what the crap? You know, the next time he was all of a sudden totally flipped, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde much, totally flipped, you know, he was all so... Yes, I'm your best friend, I'm your real good close friend and all this to Adam. And rude to me, telling me to, to you know, keep, you know, that uh, I'm not going to, to speak. You know, then to just answer one word sentence. And no, you are not, he was sexist. My degrees are in psychology and sociology. I taught at college and university against these kinds of things. He was very sexist. Then he'd say something like he didn't like my answer, he would look at Adam and like he's he's ridiculing me and, and they're going to have a, a shared laughter about me. It was just too weird, just too much. So when I went in there, with uh, when the next one was when I went in there and wound up in the ER the next day because apparently he just... Uh, but then um, this last time was the follow-up and the guy would refuse, the doctor refused to look at the, the paperwork I brought from them. They didn't get him the, the ER the third time. Uh, they said that he had access and for me to ask him what was going on. That my doctor, you know, Adam's doctor. I'm going to call from now on Adam's doctor. Because, no, I fired him. I told Adam I fired him. <laughs> okay. But his office was closed, so I couldn't say it myself. And I actually told him, I said, no, I think I'll let him just suffer because he's trying really hard to get rid of me because I have a, a rare health condition I'm trying really hard you know and it's called um, and I've even mentioned it to him more than once this medical cherry picking and he, he even the last time he called me at home freaky 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 you know, this was three times plus his nurse called me at home left a message yeah, at home I mean after hours you know I'm at home they call my cell phone but it's not, it's after their hour, work hours, and it's 8 o'clock or so, so a couple of more after, wait, when was that, two or was after 8 or something like that, p.m. And the other one was in the very next morning, and they, the nurse had also called during the day. What the heck? That's when they shared my personal information with a hospital that I did not give them permission to, you know, last week, because he's trying to get rid of me, you know, that last week was the week. When he called those two pe those two trainees in, and I did not ask him to invite them, I, and then he said, "Well, it's okay. What am I going to do? Say no?" I mean, you know, it's very awkward. It put me in a very awkward position because all I was there was for a follow-up and to ask why am I still bleeding out of my navel, and he refused to look at the, he refused to answer anything of my questions that had anything to do with it at all, and he. he so he told Adam and I about wound care. They said, wound, don't you think this is a critical wound? And then he said, I'm writing in there in my computer that you say this, that you, you understand that I'm it's outside of my scope. Well, the hospital, I did not give him permission. He did not ask me. He did not tell me. He sent it to some hospital. That I was at home in the hospital call. And I said, who's this? And the woman was, she was saying the nurse, you know, she was very, very calm. But she was young, you know, calm. I guess she was a nurse. I don't know who she was. From she was calling from the hospital. She says she works in the ER at another hospital. But she called and said that, they, that his nurse had called her, sent stuff over, and I tried to tell her over the phone. She, she said that she just wouldn't listen. She refused to listen. You know. So they sent my that doctor, Adam's doctor, that was mine. Sent and the nurse sent my stuff, personal, private, healthcare stuff, without asking me, consulting me, nothing. Sent it to them. That woman was not a fan of them. After that, she probably never heard from him ever before. But the way she kept talking, 
You know, she was very calm, very professional, but it was very obvious. She was not happy with the way that they did things. And I know what it was. And then he called me uh, that... Let me see, that... She had called the nurse, had called. Also, I hadn't checked... At my, it doesn't show up on mine that somebody left, left a voicemail. It doesn't show me... It doesn't show up. And uh, so I just... I, and I never check it, but for some reason I didn't because I was looking, listening for another message to see. And then, like I said, it doesn't show me anything. So I have to go through all of them. <laughs> I'll have a little collection, which I did. But the nurse had called, um, and then he called, and I was, and that was the day we were we were in the kitchen, or what, whatever, it was more than once, it's been more than one time. And I, I've been so exhausted with all this, but just the, the creepy thing, the creepy, it was so creepy the way he was talking to me was because it was all about he was lying, saying, I'm just calling to see if you're okay. No, he's not. He, he, he was very goal-directed at times. He was trying to say, it's your fault, it's your fault, it's your fault, and trying to cherry-pick. And I even mentioned it in that one, too. That conversation, I said, I'm tired of cherry-picking, being doctors cherry-picking. Oh, does that mean you still want me? You see, he's trying hard to get rid of me. And I had told the ER doctor in the ER PA the last time, I said, she said, to tell him, to tell you, I said, I think he's trying to get, he's trying to throw me off, you know. Uh, it's a new doctor to me, and, and he's trying to throw me, what is the term I use? You know, the pat, it's a whole the pass the buck kind of thing, but, to, you know, to try to get, do the cherry picking thing. So he, so he doesn't have to do anything. Well, anyway, that, that other place, it was, it's a part of a hospital or something like that. And uh, I know the name of the hospital, but I don't know whether it's the hospital or the wound care part, whatever, because he didn't ask me. Did not ask. Didn't even tell me, so let me get those clear. Didn't ask, didn't tell, just did. Just sent my personal information over. HIPAA violation much? You know, I'm serious. He, he has no boundaries. He doesn't think anything applies to him, and maybe it doesn't. Maybe things have changed. And that's what kind of worries me, is what is he going to try to file it under if I am to say he violated HIPAA because I did not give him permission. And that kind of goes back to that whole thing of Adam said it took long enough to set this up. Set what up? Did, did I see this doctor? Because Adam had told me before then, not too long before then, no, I don't want you to see my doctor. Now you have your doctor, ask my doctor. I mean, I'm talking like within this year, he said that. Really, seriously. So then all of a sudden a change of mind? It's making me so suspicious because it's all too suspicious. All of it is too suspicious. Well, anyway, that, that, go back to that hospital where he sent my private information, my health and all that kind of information, possibly a HIPAA violation, sent it to them anyway. Didn't ask me, didn't consult me, didn't anything. Tell me, ask nothing. That woman that, that called me about it, you know, like I said, her attitude was like that nurse, and she, she was just, just trying to stay very calm, very calm, very calm, you know. And, uh, hold on. Okay, my mouth was getting really dry. But she, she said herself, you know, I said, well, he, I said, he had said something to me about this, saying that, it wasn't uh, something like within his scope of practice and that he, and yeah, that's what he put in there, that it was, that he said he's putting in his computer, right? And that patient said this, who knows what he actually typed in there. But plus at one point he said his computer stopped working and that was when he was supposed to be filing my, uh, which medications. And it seemed like he was sending the medications to the pharmacy on the com through the computer so that they could do my medications. And then he said, oh, my computer stopped working. And I'm thinking, no, it didn't. It's in right here. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, but anyway, what she said was, I told her that he had said that it's not within his scope. It's what he, he, he's saying that it's a uh, in the part of my belly, my navel, why it's bleeding, and that it continues to bleed. It hardly does like it did at first. All I have to do is take that... Um, and those antibiotics and uh so he's saying now it's some kind of wound that only these wound specialists can take care of no 
he, he tried before, and I think he had actually called the hospital and told them that I was coming to the ER, and for them to tell me, because they said the same thing that he did, without doing any CT or anything, the second time, they said exactly what he had just said, was that I needed to go to a, a general surgeon. They had not said anything about that the first time, and I went there. That was June 11th, but they did June 20, well not June, but May 11th for this, for this situation. May 11th, they did, then on May 25th, I think, it's two Thursdays later, they, um, they didn't say, they, this, this doctor there said that. The same thing as I just called my, that doctor, Adam's doctor, and he had said that, I'm like, what? He's trying to push me onto somebody else. You see? And so then this, time, this the third time, you know, they, 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 third time the PA, and there was one PA, then she'd go out and then a, a nurse would come in and she'd go out. They were never in there at the same time. And the PA was saying that, it was the first one that mentioned assist, C-Y-S-T. And then the nurse, that when she was in there, she was saying it's a surface, whatever. You know, kind of, I, I would say like a boil. There's no, and I said, there's nothing on the surface here. There's no surface, whatever she said. <laughs> surface. Uh, what is the word? I don't know. You know, like I said, something like a boil. There's nothing or something on the surface. There's nothing on the surface. Still nothing. Never has been nothing on the surface. It has been bleeding. <laughs> wow, what professionalism. And then the paperwork, it actually says a doctor. There was a doctor that didn't know, I never saw a doctor. But anyway, see how I'm screwed up this stuff is? But now that other place that he sent my private, his nurse, he and his nurse are both, who knows, sent to, and she called me. Yeah, she, she said, and I told her, he said it's not within his scope. She said it is exactly in his scope. And I, she said, no, usually that's what doctors do. They handle cases like that. I said, well, maybe it's because he's an internal medicine uh, doctor. She goes, that's exactly, she goes, he's internal medicine. That's exactly what they do. You see, so what is he doing? What exactly is he doing? Exactly. Pushing me off to somebody else. What is the term you one would use? You know, he he's, wants to totally pass the buck. <laughs> That's not the right expression either. Adam had used that expression the last time we were seeing the doctor together. Yep, that whole passing the buck. You know, yeah. But he's, he's just trying to pass me off to somebody else and he, this is shock and surprise that I was saying uh, when he called me after all that again again and uh, just saying stuff that made me feel creepy heebie jeebies seriously I don't like this situation at all you know uh, I, I worry what he might do because he's so you know he's so possessed I mean not possessed <laughs> possessed maybe no he's obsessed with his practice that I need to understand that he has other patients. No, I don't. You, you set aside the right, correct amount of time. I worked in these things. You set aside the correct amount of time for each patient. That you're not telling a patient to answer in one word sentences. It's not, and I had mentioned that to him, him and with those two women. It's not, doc, it's not a provider center. It's patient centered care. You need to listen to the patient, what the patient is saying. You see, but anyway, back to that. The woman flat told she goes, that's exactly within his scope of practice. What a, what a crap. So, and, and also, I had called, he, he had told me when he called, he said, oh, by the way, it was a good, it was, yeah, it was a good idea that you mentioned that about, maybe it's a yeast infection. So you take that medicine. You know, because he wrote a prescription. Well, he, at first he said for three days. At first, I, and I kept telling him, I said, I know there was something women used, used back years ago that for, and he's like, eh, no, no, I need an answer. You're not giving me stuff I need to know. I said, no, you are not. <laughs> like I'm saying, he shut me up. And I said, I think it was called, and I said the name of brand. And well, anyway, long, longer, much longer story. The, the pharmacist said, it's usually not what they use, the pharmacist. It's usually not the, what they use for something like that. I said, this is in my navel. I said it twice to the pharmacist. And the pharmacist knows me rather well. And he said, this is not usually what they use 
But yeah, if you're going to use it, maybe three days is best because the doctor had called when he called. He said, he said, I wrote it for seven days, but maybe you should just use it for three. Maybe he had a little bit of time to calm, up, to calm down instead of, I, I'm serious, I think he does stuff like this. Like that first time he, he wrote a prescription for antibiotics, the day before I wound up in the hospital, ER, and I refused to take them because it had seven pages of warnings, 16 for the central nervous system itself, and at the bottom of it, those 16 that said these can, these can become uh, permanent. I told Adam whenever that happened, I said, what's this man trying to do to me? Seriously. Yeah, I, I, I'm serious. It all goes back to he has some kind of, uh, not, I don't want to say unnatural, but a um, attachment to Adam, or maybe it's just attachment to his own ego. You know that that his professional doctor should not have, should not be like that. But I, I don't really don't see much as professional at all. Seriously, don't. There's more like the one that he tried to put Adam on knowing that I'm allergic to the, uh, to it. He wants to put Adam on and I had such bad experience with it. And I finally got to tell him over the phone, but he wasn't really listening. I mean, I could tell he, he was trying to find something, trying to find little things he could do and say, you know, like grasping like Gargamel or something, you know, like that character. When he does his hands like that, and it's, they have a human character too. They do their hands like, ooh, how can they do that? I'm just so conniving, so not conniving. Well, maybe that's a good word, but uh, calcul. You know what is the word? Calculating, just trying to find something. It's so freaky to see. And given my degrees, what my degrees are, in, I was a career student, taught at college and university. I have a clue, more than a clue. And no, that was him. And it just freaks me out. It just does. It's and not. You know, it's a. It's a creepy. Heebie-jeebies is what I told Adam yesterday. Just give me the heebie-jeebies. They even made video. Just heebie-jeebies. You know? And somebody acts like that. And Adam's all upset because this is his... And he's trying not to, but then when I told Adam another thing that this doctor said over that last phone call conversation, which was Thursday, I guess. Yeah, a Thursday morning, I think. Yeah, I know I tried to call Friday because anyway i told adam that this, this doctor had said he was talking about um where else i could go because that that hospital that he sent my private information said i should try baylor scott uh they had their own health insurance he said, yeah yeah that's what you should do because really really they, they would be better they, you know having a central place that there yeah. or you could try the one in the hunt and all this and you know this, there's a free one over here that you know, doing all this like he he's so he's so puts Possessed, I'm saying, and obsessed with trying to push me off. Like, you know, mm -hmm. cherry picking much? And, uh, anyway, I told Adam, I said, one of the things he said, somehow it come up, and he said, oh, so, in other words, you're, you're one of those who, you, 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 yeah, I understand, you wouldn't want to be, to get, um, how do you put it, government handout? And, oh, that just made me cringe even more. I said, what do you, I said, I'm not one to think in terms of government handouts. I said, this is money that people pay in. And they, you know, I, I pay in other people, people I know, family, everybody pays in here. All, not just my family, but all, you know, of us citizens and everything. People working here in the United States pay, well, I didn't go all that length, but I'm saying to you, who are, who are just listening, that people, pay, you know, I basically, people pay in for this. So it's there when they need it. But there's just that whole attitude of him to say that it's a government handout. Adam was like, he paused. Because he said, but, but, I said, you know, because I was telling him, so what does that stuff mean these days even? I said, I haven't heard that. People say that since many, many years, decades ago. It's a government handout. And uh, Adam was pretty sh shocked. And we were driving at the time, we were in the SUV, we were going something, come back or whatever. And I said, and we were coming back, and I said, well, that's what he said. You know, about all this. And he said, no, nah, he, he, he wouldn't be like that because we had a discussion about Trump, and he's anti-Trump. And I, and I knew that because he had told me that, Adam had told me that before. 
Yeah, I kind of, I kind of suspected not. And um, when Adam said it this time, I said, you know, remember that show we watched The Ranch? And the guy, you know, the, the character on it said, oh, what, you know, he was all for Trump. You know, he was all Republican, but he said, oh, what has Trump done this time? Or something like that was one of the lines. And that's on that show, the, the series, The Ranch. He said, yeah. I said, so that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, that he, he's, because Adam was thinking that he's Democrat. That he's liberal and all that. And my thought was, no, he's not. It's quite the opposite. And then when he said that about the government handout, how dare he? You see? And then the first time we, we, I met him, when my first appointment with Adam, first met, first time to meet him, at the end of it he was talking about something, saying all these things about money and all. And I, I looked at him and I said, yeah, money, the love of money is the root of all evil. Because it was following the line of what he was saying. We were always standing up getting ready to go. And uh, he said, exactly, the love of money is the root of all evil. So he, he basically he was putting out there that he doesn't practice because of money. But since then, <laughs> the things I saw him do and the way he acts and all, mm -hmm. my personal view, and I could be wrong in any of this. I could be wrong. I seriously doubt it. But uh, my personal view is that is exactly what he wants, and that he is the love of money, that he has a problem with his love for money and greed. I don't have health insurance. Anytime I would try to say anything, like one of those times he calls me creepy, 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 don't call. You know, doctors don't call patients at home, you know, because they're trying to find reasons to c claim the patient has things to learn too. Because <laughs> what he had to, to learn was you don't speak to people like that. You don't tell a patient to be quiet. It is not a physician centered, it's patient centered. But, uh, you know, see, I need to learn. What I need to learn is that he has a practice and that I have to keep my answers short. No, I don't have that to learn. If he has a problem, he has scheduled too many patients because of what? Mm -hmm. Let's just connect the dots. What was that about the love of? Mm -hmm. Let's see. I didn't say all that, but. Yeah, let's think about it. Okay, I'm wrapping this up. Now, but I, I, I don't like the way it's going to show up. You know, the angle of it, the vertical, and that was by accident, so I just went ahead and finished this on this part, but I think I'll do another one for another channel, we'll see. And that's not vertical, that is horizontal, that was the goal. I'll talk to you on another video, bye.